Hey guys, well the fans are pumped and I gotta say it feels like they're bringing in stored energy because the last World Baseball Classic was back in 2017 due to the pandemic and all the people that got their tickets are of course still watching the game from inside the stadium but the party is still going on out here with music going on and check it out the fans are enjoying the game at this restaurant. the party we had earlier today out here so take a look downtown phoenix turning into the mecca for baseball fans with chase field hosting the world baseball classic fans bringing the energy for tonight's biggest game in the tournament usa versus mexico i mean just listen to them thousands of people coming from all over the country and the world like these lads donning Britain from head to toe. Last night was fantastic. I mean, if we got stopped once, we got stopped a hundred times. People wanted to take photos with us and stuff like that. Everyone was really friendly. Um, yeah, it was a great atmosphere. And a great place to bring the family out during spring break. It's amazing. It's an amazing opportunity that I'm here with the games with my family, having an amazing time. Uh, with my wife and my friends and my brother who doesn't have a ticket yet. <laughs> oh, so is he probably going to be out? Who knows? So you're still going to go in without him? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Hope his brother got a ticket. But if not, at least he got to enjoy the party filled with glittered beards, luchadores, ponchos, and a display of pride for each person's team. Um, it just brings everyone together to enjoy a sport and be able to share it, like the same interests. Let him go. more days. The last game is going to be Wednesday. That's going to be USA versus Colombia. Reporting live from downtown Phoenix, Casey Torres, Arizona's family. Well, you know, the Mexican